Okay. Here is my third attempt at finishing off a video from yesterday with some technical difficulties. So yesterday I started a practice that's called energy infused myofascial yoga. And what we did was explore some of the basic poses beginning with mountain pose and really uh, feeling into the body and taking our time with that pose and then exploring a forward fold, then a Wonder Woman or a superhero pose, and then doing wide-legged forward fold. And so this is where I'd like to pick off to pick up today's practice is just having a wide stance and whether what that looks like for you is going it's going to be different for everyone. So um, a few of the things to keep in mind is to use tools. If you, you need to feel supported in this practice, so maybe you have an upright yoga block, maybe you have an ottoman or a stool or even a chair in front of you. This is one of my favorite little folding stools. That comes in super handy and you can do it even with this. So just being able to sink in, <clears throat> but yet feel supported, whether you use the base of the chair, whether you use the arms of the chair, but you wanna make sure it's on a stable surface, nothing slippery. And come down into a wide leg. Now, currently, um, I am on the balls of my feet. And so what I'm gonna do is I need to come down a little farther. I'm gonna move the chair and use this block for support. And so at this point, you can play with the range of motion here, straightening and bending the legs to feel where you're going to be comfortable, whether you're doing that with a chair, a stool, just straighten and bend lower and lift and i'm saying well when i leaned forward i felt pressure on both of my knees so i want to position my body so that my pelvis is in a neutral and natural position and i'm not feeling any pressure or tension on the knees very important so i have an arch in my back my feet are firmly planted. I've brought the knees in closer together because I was feeling strain on the edges of the knees. And now I can take my surface. I can go from Wonder Woman from a power stance. Sorry, you can't see my face, but you don't really need to see my sweaty face after I just did a workout. And then lift the arms up overhead and then bring them forward down with an inhale and an exhale. And wherever they land is going to be perfect for you, whether it's a block or a chair, or you make your way all the way down to the floor with the palms of your hands, making contact with the mat. And again, You can play with, this is really great for the quads actually, you can play with movement until you sink into a place that's just really comfortable and you're feeling a good stretch, a good pressure. And now I've moved my hands to my ankles and I've straightened my knees a little. There's still a slight bend because you're protecting the body, the joints. So now rather than having bent legs, I've straightened the legs. Again, soft bend still. And 
just continuing to be conscious and aware of the breaths. Every inhale, filling the lungs and exhale, releasing completely the breath, toxins, all that no longer serves your highest being. Now I'm backing my hands up and again, you can still be on your surface, elevated surface. And now what I want to do is consciously pull my shoulders away from my ears. Yep, they even creep up in that position when you're hanging forward, doing a forward fold. And just allow my neck to lengthen and the head to simply sway from side to side, back and forth, up and down. Whatever's comfortable for you. And imagining Mother Earth energy coming from the Earth's center, the heart of Mother Earth, the spinning Merkaba. And from this spinning Merkaba comes a brilliant emerald and white, crystalline light, making its way up to the Earth through underground rivers and caverns, lava and magma, and all the layers of sediment, all the way up through the layers of the earth, through the roots of the trees, and the trees get nourishment from Mother Earth, up through the ground and through the floor, wherever you're standing. And feeling that energy permeating the bottom of your feet like a driving force, spiraling upward, energizing every cell from your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your quads, hamstrings, glutes your pelvis as you're leaning forward and allowing a release from the lower lumbar spine. Imagine Mother Earth's energy spiraling upward. Flowing downward in this case through the spine, all the way up to the cervical spine, to the crown. And with every inhale, breathing in, that Mother Earth energy, balanced and grounded and rooted. And every exhale, giving back to the land, to Mother Earth, the carbon di dioxide that fuels the trees and the photosynthesis in this symbiotic relationship that we have with the land. And whenever you're ready, slowly bring your hands to your hips, planting the four corners of your feet on the mat or on the ground, and slowly lifting up back into this power position. Taking a few deep breaths here, feeling energized. We'll move from this position down to the goddess warrior. And I will tell you again that this can be a supported position for you. You can use a chair, a stool, a block to get in that squatted position. 
And what you're going to want to do is press out with your arms and press, press in with your legs. And when you do this, and your hands come together in prayer position. You can feel this complete circuit where it's almost effort effortless to maintain the position because of the whole idea of biotensegrity. the pressure against the elbows from the knees equals the pressure against the knees to the elbows and vice versa. And the pressure of the hands connecting here at the heart center, completing the circuit. And now feeling the energy come up from the earth's core up from all these channels like roots of a tree into your feet. Again, feeling grounded. You may begin to move a little and find if there are any areas that you feel tension. Restriction, limited range of motion or pain, burning, electric sensation. And just take note of that. Move and adjust as you need to in order to maintain the position and to be comfortable and to maintain that balance of pressure. A few more breaths here. And again, this might look very different in your practice than it does in mine. You could be seated on blankets or on yoga blocks. And so how you come out or in a chair and just getting, um, being supported, but feeling the biotensegrity of that movement without supporting yourself standing. And so however it's comfortable for you, bring yourself to a seated position now. And one of the best things about easy pose I ever discovered or was taught was to use something to elevate my behind. And when I elevate the sits bones, then I can take a position or a pose that was called easy pose, but for me and the restrictions that were happening in my body with my left hip and knee and um, misalignment, it was very, very painful and it was the complete opposite of an easy pose for me. And so just by lifting up those few inches from the yoga block and finding my balance, I'm able to get in a pose that not only am I comfortable but I can also do some work on where the restrictions are in my own body if I choose to by supporting underneath this leg and just applying a little pressure down here. So support would look like sandbags, yoga blocks, rolled up blankets, a couch pillow or a cushion from a chair. It doesn't really matter. And you can also drape, drape the sandbag over the top to create its 20 pounds of pressure on that area. And it's just enough pressure where you feel it, but it's like you're feeling firm and supported as opposed to going past a range where you're comfortable. And because you take this slower, more supported, less invasive approach, uh, the benefits that will happen will be more permanent and lasting. And you can actually change the physical structure of your body 
Through taking your time and doing these poses and applying the techniques of Barnes myofascial release. And so as you're seated here in easy pose, an easy pose might be to you sitting up in a chair with your feet firmly planted on the ground, or if you're like me, you need some extra support and maybe a yoga block under your feet. But the whole idea is to have your sits bones, the base of your pelvic bowl, to be supported and even. And then just imagining your sacrum, your lower lumbar spine, your thoracic spine, and your cervical spine with the perfect curves as nature intended. Proper lordosis and kyphosis. And as you're imagining your spine perfectly aligned, your skeletal system in perfect alignment. And with every inhale, as the lungs expand with breath, and you imagine the space between each vertebrae just expanding with the breath. Feel your rib cage lifting all the way to your shoulder blades as you draw them back and down, drawing your shoulders away from your ears, allowing your spine to create just the right amount of space with your chin slightly back. You can find a focal point on the wall or you can choose to close your eyes. And focusing on your breath. With an awareness of your light body supported by Mother Earth. Now connecting to the star Sirius and imagining its light falling down through the cosmos, through the atmosphere of planet Earth, into your sacred space, and illuminating you through your crown to the Merkaba that spins inside your body, one of the Merkabas. And allowing this main Merkaba to be activated by Sirius, and the top tetrahedron spins clockwise. As you tap into the energy of Orion and imagine that light streaming down through the heavens, through the Earth's atmosphere, to the pinnacle of the bottom tetrahedron as it spins anti-clockwise. And knowing this Merkaba is part of your energy center, part of your chi, part of your life force. And feel it activated, feel the vibrance of the frequency, the light, the energy, the higher consciousness flowing into your body and illuminating every cell and fiber of your being. I give you the option of ending this practice either in this meditative seated position or coming around to all fours and just being aware of the slow movement of your body as you switch from one position to the next 
honoring what your body needs, maybe a little extra stretch. And in child's pose, you can choose to put your knees wide to the sides of the mat or close together. And to move your arms out in front of you as your forehead comes closer to the mat. Or you can choose to have your arms down beside you and your shoulders completely relaxed and let go. And if you have tightness in this region and have a hard time getting your booty down toward your legs. You can always add a little weight there. To rock back and forth a little, settle in. Just feel the stretch. Stay here as long as you'd like. take the time to do some of these practices every single day, you'll begin to experience miracles. Just connecting with your light body, re-energizing and invigorating your body, and really honoring your body and meeting it where it's at, never forcing, going toward the edge and then backing off a little and just resting there. Simple principles, but highly effective. Thanks for hanging in there while I had several uh, video issues and I appreciate you, thanks.